This is Gene Key, KDDD News. South of Dumas in Potter County, a wildfire destroyed one rural home and damaged another before firefighters brought it under control late Tuesday afternoon, according to Amarillo.com. Neither house appeared to be occupied. Firefighters at a passing train about 3.45 p.m. probably caused the fire that burned about 300 acres at Davison Drive, about 25 miles southeast of Dumas. Amarillo Fire Rescue Chief Richard Lake said no one was injured in the blaze. About 30 firefighters and 15 fire trucks responded and brought the blaze under control about 6 p.m. The Booker community has found itself in the middle of an international news story. Booker High School had an unusual visitor Friday night at its football game. It was Gabriel Alizondo. Mr. Alizondo is a Brazilian-based correspondent with Al Jazeera, the Middle East news agency. Alessandro was on a road trip across the U.S. talking to people about the effects of 9-11 on their lives. He got to Booker in time for the football game and wanted to take in the game, talk to some parents, and maybe a player or two after. In explaining his reason for being there to the Booker High School superintendent, Alessandro found an angry superintendent saying he could not interview anyone. Alessandro said he soon left. Superintendent Mike Lee, according to Alessandro's story on Al Jazeera, apologized to Alessandro on the school's website for any abrupt behavior, but explained that he still would not have allowed him any interviews on school property. Starting this month, every Texas gas station is required to have a sticker with a web address where you can instantly look up the station's inspection history with your smartphone while you're at the pump. That way, you'll be able to tell right away if the station where you're filling up as a record of ripping off consumers. This is Gene Key, KDD News.